Um, and hello, as Shannon said, I am Shadra Austin. I'm the National Director of Job Placement for Career Spring, and I am joining you from Houston, Texas. Um, the pandemic brought us a lot of really interesting challenges, but I do think it also brought us just more empowerment around the use of technology. So I am excited to be able to share with you all um, again about Career Spring and uh, share this time with you all. Before we dive in, I actually have with me my colleague, Eliane. So I'm going to allow her to introduce herself as well. Hi everyone. Um, as Chaudhry said, my name is Eliane Abouassi. I'm the New York City Regional Program Manager. Um, for any of you that are interested in getting involved with Career Spring, I will be your main point of contact. Um, Chaudhry is gracefully taking over for me today because I'm a little under the weather, um, but I'm just really excited to hopefully work with y'all um, as you're looking for ex career options and, and hopefully Career Spring will become a great resource for you. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Eliane. So we want to make this um, really useful for you all. We want to certainly share some information about Career Spring and the resources they would provide. We're going to give you an opportunity to get involved right away by hopping on the platform, registering today, um, and being able to start taking advantage of the opportunities, and then share a little bit more about the kinds of programs that you could expect um, and the kind of support and resources that you'd get as a part of Career Spring. Through it all, we want this to be informative for you. So I'd encourage you, please jot down your questions, ask questions um, as we go. Um, and I, Shannon, Maureen, you guys maybe help if there are raised hands in the room. I'm happy to pivot and help get those answered as well. So why don't we start? Again, I'll share an overview of Career Spring. And Shannon talked a little bit about this. We are a nonprofit. We were founded two years ago. And out of really the spirit of how do we help first generation low income students really identify um, career opportunities. Our, our founder had a long career in the energy space. And what he recognized was as he was having conversations with young people that were doing much of what you guys are doing, right? Which is making great decisions, choosing really smart majors that fit their skill set, um, thinking about and working for, looking for those internships and then going on to graduate. Those are all the right things, but so many of those students found themselves back at home, um, not yet having identified the right career opportunity. He started personally just making phone calls and connecting dots for those students. And almost always it led to an opportunity. And so Career Spring really was born out of the spirit of how do we help uh, thousands of first generation students identify those career opportunities at scale. So our mission is to unlock the employment potential of each of you by providing career information, social capital, and job placement services. And those are the three foundations for which our nonprofit was founded. If we talk a little bit about what that career information might look like, um, we do that first through our video library. And if we can advance, Ileon, Ileon. So our video library, we have uh, right now about almost 400 videos of professionals that ha are, have made, it's a five to seven minute video of them talking about their career experience. What do I do today? What does a day in the life look like? What uh, was my major? What were the internships that I had? Kind of what was my path to get here? What do I wish I knew? Uh, then as I was again on that journey and really again kind of sharing the art of what's possible. The video library is one of my favorite components of our platform because again it allows you to start exploring careers and jobs that you've never heard of. Um, I spent the majority of my career in working in corporate America. I worked for large global consulting firms. And what I know is as a student, like many of you sitting in a classroom, I had no idea that I was going to go into a career in HR. And some of that is just, I didn't think about that as a career opportunity. And so the video library allows you to go in and start to look at and explore some careers that you know today and have likely heard of, and still others that you might not ever have heard of 
but uh, gives you an idea about how you might apply your major, how you might apply those relevant skills that you have, um, and ultimately, again, start down a path towards uh, a career experience. The second phase of our platform is the inform stage. And that is where we allow you to really create and build your network, your professional network through our advisor forum. We have over 900 professionals across the country that have said they are willing to have a 30 minute conversation with our advisees on the platform. You are able to go directly into the platform, um, decide again who you'd like to have conversations with based on their background, their academic background, their career and professional skills. You can see the, the topics that they have said that they're comfortable to talk to you about and go into the tool and schedule a 30 minute conversation with them. It's intended truly to be an opportunity for you to continue to practice um, having those conversations with strangers, right? But doing it in a safe environment. Again, we do it through the platform as a way to really protect you and your privacy, um, but certainly also our advisor. It's not intended to be a long-term mentoring experience, but so many of our, our advisors, they are signing up on this platform because they themselves are first-generation college students, graduates um, working now and want to give back. Um, and, and even if they aren't, our advisors genuinely have a heart for this work. And so while, again, it's not intended to be a long-term mentoring experience, we definitely have many, many stories of those early conversations really leading to both career opportunities, but also, again, those um, mentoring relationships. The third phase of our platform is job placement. And this is, again, it's the, the ultimate reason why we are here and why we hope that you guys will, will join and become a part of the platform. Job placement, really, we, we are connecting you to each of the employer partners that we have um, through relationships and, and through partnership. We have employer partners, many of them regionally focused, um, there in the New York area, but still others that are nationally focused partnerships that will create opportunities for you to start your career in other cities if that is something that you're interested in exploring. It runs the gamut from um, financial services to nonprofits to teaching organizations and everything in between, healthcare organizations. And so we are trying to um, partner with organizations that we believe would provide, again, really positive and really strong starts for each of you as you come into this work experience. You on the platform go out onto the platform to look at each of the jobs we have posted. We have a full job description. We have the requirements of the role. And then you express interest in the role through our platform. Someone on our team, the job placement team, will then have a 15 minute pre screen with you to make sure that you understand the requirements of the role, to allow you to ask questions about the company, the organization. Um, and just generally be a resource. We often find ourselves in those conversations saying, this might be a good fit for you, but we also have these three other opportunities that you might really wanna consider. So in so many ways, the job placement team becomes truly a job placement advisor for you and an additional resource. Um, once you express interest and we think, yes, there's a good match, we then act as an advocate for you to our employer partners. And this for me is really one of the big distinguishing factors between a uh, career spring and other job boards. You're not blindly posting to roles, you are expressing interest. And we are then again, going back to our employer partners and making sure that they're aware that you're a career, a career spring applicant. Um, and again, um, really, really endorsing you as a candidate. So it is the piece that makes it uh, really unique in terms of your experience with the platform. And then finally, we want to do the video library, the advisor forum are all building you up and preparing you for that job placement process. But we have additional resources as well that we think really allow you to um, continue to put your best foot forward. And that's through our candidate resource toolkit. 
There's information within the toolkit that talks about um, resume writing, providing resume writing tips. There's some good samples of what strong resumes might look like, um, providing guidance on interview prep work. Those are all static things that are located on the platform. But in addition to those, we also provide um, a group. We have a group of specialized advisors called our career coaches. These are HR professionals, many of them recruiters in major organizations around the country that have volunteered to really take their advisor experience a level deeper. So they will do mock interviews with you. They will review resumes. They'll provide, again, real-time feedback all through the platform um, as a part of, again, a, cons a consultation. Um, and so, again, it's really a one-stop shop for how do I think about what do I want to be when I grow up? And believe me, many of us still ask that question. I've worked a long time and I still ask what do I want to be when I grow up? Um, to then having conversations with individuals that are doing that work and living that experience, to then ultimately putting yourself in a position to be in that seat and doing that role as well, whether through internships or full-time placement. And I should note, we have as many intern opportunities on the platform as we do full-time. So that career exploration and that job search really does start um, right now. As we Think about, um, again, a little bit of, of what's next. Um, we want you all, and I'm curious, and I don't know, Shannon, if we can facilitate this a little bit. I'm curious of who we have in the room. Um, maybe if not introductions, are there freshmen, sophomores, juniors? Who do we have in the room right now? Yes, awesome. So do we have any freshmen in the room? Yes, three freshmen, okay, sophomores? Couple sophomores, okay, juniors. No, ju one junior, one junior. <laughs> Lorenzo, I know, is a senior graduating in December, right? Yes. Very so good. Everyone is represented. That everyone. is amazing. And kudos to the freshmen in the room because I'm serious. I was not thinking about career exploration at all um, as a freshman. And I'm sure you're not there just for the $50 gift card. That was not. Uh, at all the at all the hook, but definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> so again, like we want you all immediately to come away from the session really already engaged and a part of the platform. And so I'm going to ask you to pull out your smartphones, as I know you all have them, um, and let's get registered on the platform right now, and then we'll explore a little bit together and and answer some questions that you might have, but. If you sitting in the room today are a first generation, um, low income student, meaning again, Pell Grant eligible, then this service, this tool, this resource and platform are intended specifically for you. So I encourage you to scan the QR code now, um, go onto the website um, and we can start by signing in and let us know if you're having questions, pulling it up, or if you see it real time there. Is anyone in? Mm, not yet. <laughs> So as you go on to the site, one of the things that you should see first, and I don't know, Ilya, maybe we can pull and go directly to the site so we could see it. As you come onto the platform, what we want you to do is to enter that code on the far right here, you see the um, to sign up for the career platform, we want you to enter the STAC. It is your unique code um, for St. Thomas Aquinas, and it will allow us to know that, yes, we have invited you to join and be a part of the platform. So that is where you want to start, which is that sign up there. And then
Are any of you able to get in? Yes. Okay. Okay. So maybe let's show a little bit exactly. So what will happen is we'll verify your uh, registration. You'll get actually a, um, a separate email to sign in. And this is a video or a, a, um, a, a demo of what you might see as you come onto the platform. We really have designed it with the user in mind and really want to make it as easy as possible. So once you are registered, this becomes Welcome Shadra to the platform and you'll see if I had any meetings or any messages that have been sent directly to me through the hub. This is my kind of home page and it'll allow me again to kind of start here. Much of the functionality to the left is where again you'll find those kind of three sections of resources. The first is that video library and we can show you a little bit of what some of those uh, videos might look like. Um, I love Deborah, she is one of my favorites. <laughs> I'm a multi-genre writer, educator, and executive director in the city of Houston. For those wondering what all of that means, it basically just means that I find a way to balance my creative endeavors with my heart and passion for my community. And so through my work with VIP Arts Houston, I'm able to create spaces and stages and resource opportunities for marginalized writers in the city of Houston. Through my teaching work at the Kinder High School for the Visual and Performing Arts, I'm able to teach students how to unleash their voice and their creative energy into really great writing. Uh, and through my work as an artist, I'm able to challenge the world around me. So you can see, again, it's a very personal um, five to seven minute video of each of our advisors really kind of talking through about their experience. What you also see in each video is we have linked um, jobs. We have a link to the Department of Labor's Occupational Outlook Handbook. So you have a sense there of the kinds of roles, the kinds of opportunities that exist within that profession. So in this case, Deborah is a teacher among many other things. Um, you also have uh, to can learn more about different authors because of, again, her second role and second career there. If you scroll further down, you can see also if Deborah is an advisor on our platform. And so if she is someone that you would want to have a conversation with after hearing her video, you click on her profile. Deborah has told us the kinds of topics, again, that she wants to, is available to speak about. So you can click one of those topics. And then there's also her calendar availability. You click directly onto a, a time that works. You could add others or select that one um, as you're going through. And then you'll see here a template pops up. So we want, and it's really a prompt. Um, it is fully editable, Where, but we've given you a start, right? Thanks for offering to help. I need advice um, on making time for school because I'm working and a student and involved in extracurricular activities and feeling overwhelmed about what I'm doing, right? Or whatever your personal situation is, but we're giving you the prompts there. Um, and then during the meeting, I'm hoping to focus on. Um, once you click send request, that message goes directly to Deborah and she can again, accept that time or propose other times. But we try to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to take advantage of, again, the, the, the platform. Under advisors, we then, again, you get a good sense of how you might um, identify the right people, the right individuals that you can talk to. And there's no limit. You can talk to all 900 people on the platform or choose the top 10 that you think best align for what you're looking for. Um, you can sort, again, on the left by different um, interest, areas of interest, if it's finance or accounting, majors. Um, you can sort by location, um, whatever. You can even sort by career spring staff if you'd want to have a specific conversation with us. Our platform is built leveraging some AI, some um, 
matching capabilities as a way to, again, just provide you some direction with who and how you might want to start to engage with advisors. And you see that in the top right corner of each of the profiles there. So this, based on, again, this is a demo account, but based on the demo account, this is saying that Olivia would be, again, a 91% match for me to have a conversation with based on the information that I've provided and what she has shared. Um, you also notice there the career spring bird. So that gives you an indication that the advisor is in fact a first generation student themselves. So they had the similar, similar experiences that you might have had um, while they were in school as well. So great, great options again for the uh, advisors for you to choose from. And again, we genuinely enc encourage you to do that. For the jobs piece, this is where, again, you first and foremost, we would encourage all of you to upload your resume into the general resume database. This is a, um, a portion of the platform where we really are sending you updates and information on roles as they become available. We send messages through the platform. And so this is really the easiest way to just stay informed about what's happening. If there is a job, a role that you're interested in, um, you could click in the learn more or Eliane, yes, it's again showing some of that functionality on the on the left side. So again, you, you tell us what you're interested in um, and that will show you again some of the opportunities that are available. We have a lot of internship opportunities open right now um, and again all across the country. When you click into the learn more for everything but the resume base, yep, <laughs> so project grad. And again, I mentioned we have both um, intern or nonprofit and corporate experiences available. But this is, in fact, the actual job description. So it's sharing with you exactly the information that the organization is looking for. And at the very bottom, if this is something that you're interested in, you then hit apply now. The apply now comes to us, to the Career Spring team, and we then have those conversations with you. And then the final piece, again, is the toolkit that we, we mentioned as well. So you've got good visuals, good resources and tools that are available 24 seven for you to come into the platform and be able to take advantage of those resources right away. So we definitely hope that you will um, again, become not just a member on the platform, but will become really actively involved um, through some of the community groups as well. There are job boards or community boards. Um, we could certainly create one for uh, St. Thomas so that you all, again, have access and visibility into having those conversations. But at a minimum, we hope that you will be a part of the internship seekers, as well as, again, that Career Spring General Forum and full-time job seekers, um, so that, again, you continue to get those, those good updates along the way. I think we have any questions. What, uh, any other questions or anything that comes to mind based on just what you've seen or heard so far? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Were you all able to log in on your phones? No, okay. Is anyone looking for an internship or job right now? Yes, okay. So this is a, another wonderful resource to use as well. So a couple more um, opportunities exist. We really, again, know that it doesn't matter how great I think the tool is or Shannon or anyone else, right? It often you all want to hear from your peers. You want to hear from others that are in similar situations that have used the platform and have had success. And so we have a Career Spring Ambassador Program. Um, it, it is um, an opportunity for students that have identified an internship through Career Spring via our platform. We then ask that and encourage you to become an ambassador on your campus. The ambassador program really does give you an opportunity to continue to grow your leadership skills, lead, practice leadership development, um, and the opportunities really, the, the three easy things that we ask are that you represent us at 
uh, on campus that you help spread the word to other Figley students along the way at, by sharing your experiences of success with the platform. And I think that, um, again, we want you all, we want to identify students that have been successful and have identified good opportunities to be able to share those positive experiences. As we push forward, again, we will continue. It's not a static platform. We provide programs throughout the year and opportunities for you to connect not only with co uh, co or peers, but also to collect, connect with other professionals uh, in the industry. So we have coming up a couple of activities and events, and these are just samples of some things happening. In November, we are going to have um, uh, someone from the financial services industry come and talk about financial responsibility. So helping you as young people really start to think about your own personal financial management early. It starts now. Um, and so again, giving you some of those tools to really help you be successful. In February, we will host a job search do's and don'ts. So thinking about um, the application process, the interview process, how do you navigate those experiences? I'm also going to do a plug. We are hosting in the next two weeks, uh, we started a series of lunch and learns where we have uh, HR recruiting professionals join us on the first and third Tuesday, Thursday rather of every month to talk about um, uh, interviewing tips. So we had a technology or technical interviews a couple of weeks ago on October 6th. We're hosting another Lunch and Learn on how to crack the case. So how to really um, prepare for and be successful in case interviews. And then two weeks after that, on October 20th, we're going to also be hosting a behavioral interview training session. So if you are, again, those juniors and seniors that have already started looking for probably um, internships and full time, these would be really, really great sessions for you all to attend just as a way to prepare for uh, the interviews. All right, I think that is it. What other questions or what else can we answer for you? Questions, thoughts? Think it's something you would use the platform? Okay. <laughs> what What are you studying? And what's your name? Um, Meiji. Mm -hmm. I'm studying Hi. marketing. Marketing. Okay. Awesome. Do you know offhand, Shajra? Are there marketing professionals um, available to advise? There absolutely are. Yes. Um, and in fact, some of the most exciting marketing intern or internships that we had last year were in marketing. We had a um, a company based out of Atlanta called We Are Rosie, but they hosted virtual interns last summer and they are a marketing firm, um, marketing and, and targeting organizations specifically around um, women and ethnic diversity. So we had just a really, I think they hosted seven interns last summer um, just in the marketing space all across the country. Great. We Are Rosie, you said. Yes. <laughs> Lorenzo? Oh, that's a good question. Do you, is there a way to connect your LinkedIn to your Career Spring account? Absolutely. Yes. As you register, um, there will be uh, an option to upload your LinkedIn account so you don't even have to retype it all. Um, it'll automatically populate. So I'll add, you know, Maureen and I and the career team, we can help you if you don't have a LinkedIn profile or account, or if you're planning to upload your resume to the system, but need some assistance with that. Um, that's what we're here to help you with, um, should you need it soonish or down the road, you know, that's, that's our job. Any other questions? Not at the moment, you're gonna let it sink in, I think, and then <laughs> formulate your thoughts for another time. Okay. I'm not seeing any other questions at the moment. Um, I will add one thing about the career ambassador role, the college ambassador role. Um, we also posted that information in our platform, Spartan Jobs. So if you want to revisit it or 
or look towards applying for that, um, you can find it there or we can direct you to it as well. Okay. Um, I will add too, for those of you that are exploring job and, and internship opportunities, another really cool thing that I've heard students do um, on the Career Spring platform is if you've applied for a job somewhere, it might be really good to look to see if we have someone that works there on the platform and you can ask them about the interview process and then if they have any information about the, the work culture. So you kind of get an inside um, to, to the jobs that you're applying for in the companies. Um, for instance, like if you're really interested in working for JP Morgan, we have a ton of people from JP Morgan on the platform. So there's a lot of unique ways that, that you can use it, even if you have your eye on a certain company or even for those of you that might be looking um, towards grad schools. So thinking about, you know, people's LinkedIn sync to it. So their um, education information is there too. So you can look for people that have attended schools you might be interested in, in looking for um, for graduate school. So it's just something to keep in mind as you begin exploring the platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess just keep in mind that the people on this platform are on it because they want you to reach out to them and they wanna help give whatever guidance, you know, that you're looking for or help you connect to opportunities and organizations. And so another great resource that you all have um, here available to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Shajra and Ilyan. Um, I know we do have some students on the platform already, and hopefully we had you guys join today through your phones and you'll revisit it. Um, but if you ever do need assistance getting on the platform, as I mentioned, or any of these other kind of career exploration or preparation, you know, we're in the career team. We're right over in Romano on the top floor, right when you come in to the left. So. Happy to continue that conversation with any of you at any point. Okay. Well, thank you so much from uh, Houston and New York, right? Ileon, you're here in New York in the metro area. Yes, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for having us. We appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. Take care.